Today we are going to review a treatment for hyperdilute radius in the temples. Um, so radius, as you all know, is a biostimulatory filler. And what that means is that in addition to filling and restoring volume, it also stimulates collagen and elastin. Um, when we dilute radius, you tend to lose the volume filling effect but you get the biostimulation of the collagen and elastin in its place. So for the purpose of today's treatment, we are treating this patient's temples um, for hollowing the temples that we unfortunately is just a sign of aging. Um, and so we are diluting, we're using a one-to-one -one dilution. So what that means is we are using one part diluent and one part radius. That is not technically considered hyperdilute. That is considered dilute. Um, anything greater than a one-to-one -one dilution, we consider hyperdilute. But for the purpose of this treatment, we are using one-to-one -one for dilute radius. Um, we have used radius plus in this particular treatment. And so we used one part um, saline because there's already lidocaine in the radius plus. So I used 1.5 cc's of saline, bacteriostatic saline. To 1.5 cc's radius and as you saw in the beginning of the video I was blending um, the saline with the radius very well so that we have a nice smooth blended product. Um, I have found my temporal fusion line on this patient as you could tell I was looking for my anatomical man landmarks uh, marking out the uh, temporal artery and making sure that where I plan to treat is going to be safe to do so. Uh, the temporal fusion line Oftentimes you can palpate a lot easier when you have the patient clench. You can feel that fusion line. Um, and I'm going to enter just above it, no more than a centimeter above that temporal fusion line with a 22 gauge cannula. And we are looking for the, you're aiming to get between the superficial and the deep temporal fascia. That is the plane that we're using for cannula. Um, and as you can see, we're just sort of getting into that plane. Um, this is a 75 millimeter cannula. And of course, we're just not gonna enter the entire depth of the cannula to the hub because we, it's just not necessary when we're filling such a small compartment. Uh, but I do like the 22 gauge feature of this cannula and that's why I chose to use it. Uh, and so basically all it comes down to is now we are going to fan the material into the temple. Um, and this is going to help restore volume that she has lost over time. When you're using a one-to-one -one dilution for a radius, you still get the volumizing effect. Once you dilute greater than one-to-one, -one, so for example, two parts diluent to one part radius, you start to lose that volume filling effect. Um, and so this patient will get instant improvement, but over time that biostimulation will take time to see a full effect. Uh, bi biostimulation generally takes anywhere from three to six months to reach a peak effect. So we expect that over time, her results will continue to improve. Um, I have chosen to use a cannula here. First of all, when we, anytime we do dilute radius or hyperdilute radius, we're always fanning the product um, and therefore we use cannula. But I really specifically like cannula in the temple area because it tends to be safer. Um, there's a lot of important anatomy and vascular structures there that I feel more comfortable when I'm using a cannula rather than a sharp instrument. And so um, that is why we've decided to use this top-down approach coming through that temporal fusion into the pocket of the temple. Um, and so we're just sort of fanning the material in through the temple here, retrograding out laying the radius um, upon, upon exit. You can see it does appear a little bit lumpy, but once you're um, completed with your procedure, we always like to give the patient a nice massage. Um, this is nothing that they're required to do once they leave the office. I don't expect them or need them to do any sort of massage. Unlike other biostimulatory products, um, this generally does not require that, but I, of course, like to do so before they leave just to make sure that it's nice and smooth. Radius is a product that definitely has some swelling um, properties to it. 
And once you start to manipulate the product, you're going to see some swelling as well. So you'll notice at the end of the procedure, this patient's temples do look a little bit swollen and that is expected. Um, we're putting about one and a half cc's of product in here, um, or material, I should say. It's not one and a half cc's of radius, but um, we are putting about one and a half cc's of material into a fairly small space with thin skin. And luckily it reabsorbs quite quickly. And by the following morning, she was looking completely back to normal. Um, so again, the massage is just a nice, important piece to make sure that everything feels nice and smooth before you send them out the door. Um, so radius or hyperdilute radius, um, these procedures are best done in sequences, typically, oh, excuse me, typically of anywhere from, I would say two to four treatments is what we generally do. And we like to do these four to six weeks apart. Um, and basically, we're just sort of building on the biostimulation that we achieved from the prior appointment. This is this patient's second treatment for the temples, and she will have her third treatment in about six weeks. I don't expect to see much improvement thus far after only one treatment. Um, she did notice improvement initially following her first treatment. Uh, however, as I explained to her, it's just unfortunately swelling um, just from the material and the saline that we put in there. But over time, those are certainly the effects that we hope to achieve um, is once that uh, we've completed her treatments and she has stimulated that collagen in place, hopefully she will re achieve results very similar to that. Um, but it's important to let the patient know that these results are going to be gradual because we're really relying heavily on that biostimulation, which of course does not happen overnight. Um, and so be sure to educate the patient that it, typically at least three treatments will be necessary about four to six weeks apart. Um, you can see here, I'm just adding a little bit more of that dilute radius into my 3cc syringe that I can now place on the opposite temple. And the technique is going to be the same. I've numbed my pilot hole there and I'm using my needle to create an, a point of entry about a centimeter from that temporal fusion line so that I can pop into the plane between layers three and four, which is um, between the superficial and the deep temporal fascia. And so we're just getting into that temporal space and we're going to retrograde and fan our material into the treatment area. You can see the patient is tolerating it nicely. Of course, again, there is lidocaine in the radius. So as you work, the patient tends to get more comfortable if they had any discomfort at all. But I typically find treatment with cannulas tends to be fairly well tolerated. Um, more of a creepy crawly feeling, I like to say, than pain. Um, and so now we're doing the same thing that we did it on the opposite side. We're just going to fan the dilute radius into her temple so that we can restore some of the volume that she has lost over time. Um, in addition for this particular patient, we also did some treatment in her upper and lower face as well. So she had a total of four syringes that day. Um, we did three syringes in the face at a one-to-one -one dilution. So that includes temples and then upper and lower face. And then we did one syringe at a three-to-one ratio. So that, that means it's pretty diluted at that point um, because we're doing four and a half cc's of saline to one and a half cc's of radius. And we did that in her neck um, to help with overall textural and um, help with necklace lines and skin texture. Uh, and so that three to one ratio is great for uh, sort of like a power washing, if you will, of the neck to help um, the effects of aging in the neck as well. This is a very versatile treatment that you can truly utilize all over the body. Um, we do it above the elbows, above the knees, in the abdomen, um, in the face, the neck, the decollete. There's honestly a lot of different areas. Of course, BBL, we use it in the booty as well. It requires quite a bit of syringes for the booty, um, typically about 10 syringes per treatment. But nonetheless, it's a very versatile treatment that we can use um, pretty much anywhere that you're looking to improve texture and tone, um, skin tightening, and all of those anti-aging effects helps with fine lines and wrinkles, 
volume depletion um, overall. This is a treatment we've been really, really satisfied with, and we're loving seeing the results for our patients. And the patients are loving, especially that it's easy to take care of. Um, Like I mentioned earlier, there are other biostimulatory products that require a lot of post-care for the patients, a lot of massage several times a day for several days after the procedure. And luckily with the dilute radius or the hyperdilute radius treatment, it does not require any of that from the patient. Um, Simply they go home and take care of it as they would any other filler treatments. So come take a biostimulatory course with us soon.